is your infamous bat flips, man. I was watching that uh, Grand Slam that you had against Barry Zedito uh, not too long ago. Um, was that intentional that you would do the bat flips, or was it well, just instinctual? Kind of, kind of evolved over over my career. I had a, I had a uh, friend of mine, teammate of mine. Well, it started kind of with the guy in Montreal, and I, I forget his name too. But he came into the big leagues, and when he'd strike you out, he'd almost do a dance <laughs> on the mound. It, you know, it kind of started with Dennis Eckersley. I remember facing Eckersley early in my career, and if he'd strike me out, he'd, he'd kind of pull his gun out, kind of shoot me. And, you know, it's not that I was overly angry at that, but but as a hitter, when you get struck out, he, he breaks his revolver out and shoots you. It kind of sticks in your craw a little bit, <laughs> like you really want to get him. Okay. And, um, years later, a teammate of mine, who I really liked, and, and had a really good career, his name is Stan Belinda, and he had gotten traded, and I got traded. I think I was with the Padres, and he might have been with Pittsburgh, I forget. But it was late in the game, you know, eighth inning, and I came up in a sacrifice fly situation and uh, popped it up to the catcher, I think. And Stan came over to me, and like I said, we were buddies from, from my Reds days. And he kind of said to me in the in the heat of the moment, way to pop it up, booty. And I, I <laughs> kind of that was the last thing I wanted to hear right now, I don't care if you're my friend or not. Not on the field. Right. You know, after the game, if we're out at a bar, at a restaurant, yeah, that's when you can give me a little crap. Yeah, low blow. But I remember, not, there, not too long after that, I uh, hit a home, big home run off him in a, in a big situation, and I just stood there, and something made me flip my bat, and that's when it started. <laughs> and uh, kind of in, in Seattle, it kind of took on a little life of its own because my teammates really liked it. Oh, you yeah. know, the movie bat flip, but they wanted it. The <laughs> so fans I kinda, loved it. I, I kind of oh, yeah. kept doing it and took, took it to another level. But it was nothing that I really, uh, you know, I never stood at home plate and just, you know, stood in the box and just watched it go out. It would always be hit it. When I know I got it, flip of the bat, and I'm on my way to first base. I like it. And it was just kind of my thing. Like I said, I kind of did it for my teammates. They liked it. And, uh, you know, some pitchers didn't like it. Some pitchers didn't really care i didn't really care what i was playing right. that was just my little thing i was going to do it if you didn't like it hit me right. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't really bother me and to be honest with you i didn't get hit i i don't remember really getting hit for a bat flip. okay and that's because i think i was always on my way you know i wouldn't stand just just lot some of the bat flips today i laugh at I call them premeditated bat flips. If you watch the bat, my bat flip, it's kind of natural, like part of my swing. I just oh, yeah. let it go and keep going. There was a lot of times but, uh, where I was watching the highlights after uh, finding out that we were going to be talking to you um, that I would see that there would be one where you'd hit the bat and it looked like it was going to be a bat flip. And I was like, you knew that it wasn't going out. So you kind of just yeah. tossed it to the side. And it was a natural thing. Well, and I appreciate that. Okay, you watch someone like uh, Derek Jeter. When he'd get rid of the bat, he would it would just fling out of his hands. Watch Dan Wilson, who, who I played oh, yeah. with for a lot of years yep. in Seattle. Who, when he would he would square it up, he would he had a way of flinging the bat out of his hands. It was just part of our swing. I had a very similar thing. When I'd get a hit, the bat would just kind of naturally flip. But then I just like I said, as time went on, I just kind of added to it. So when when I knew I got one, I would just kind of the natural thing for me to do is to fling it out of my hands, but I would just fling it up and out <laughs> and, I like and show you the hands and just, you know, put a little mustard on it. But, uh, I just had fun with it. I didn't take it serious. I didn't take myself serious. Right. It was just something I did. Okay. Okay. I can appreciate that answer. I like yeah, that. I like that too. And like I said, I, I really didn't care what the other pitcher thought. You know, if you if you no, feel like, you should. like uh, I was disrespecting you, I, I meant no disrespect, never did. I always played the game hard. Right. And uh, that was my little thing. And and if someone took offense to it, I remember one time there was there was a guy named Aaron Seeley who was oh, a teammate I, yep. of mine in Seattle. Yep. He got traded to Anaheim, and I really liked Aaron. And I remember he said, Mooney – if we're ever playing against each other and you hit a home run off me, can you please not flip your bat on me? <laughs> and I remember in Anaheim, 
I took him deep. I think I took him deep a couple times and I, I hit it and I went to do it because it was natural for me to flip it out. And something inside me laid the bat down on the plate and ran. And I remember coming, uh, crossing home plate and looking out at Aaron and Aaron tipping his cap to me. So there's nice. some gamesmanship. Okay. Yeah. And and there's some things, you know, it was a request. And I told Aaron, you know what, Aaron, I'll do the best I can if I ever take you deep not to flip the bat. And I did it. And I think it was kind of fun between us. But uh, I think it's something you actually appreciate it. Like I had to think about it, but I did it. 